Hey, hey, you guys. Lissa here with Hopelessly Crafting, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing the weekly spread for October 24th through the 30th. This week, we're going to be covering breast cancer awareness. In October, we wear pink, and I'm going to tell you why. Stay tuned for five, maybe six myths on breast cancer and how I used these really cool stickers from DEK Designs to form a very functional yet fun spread. This is the breast cancer package from dekdesigns.com and I actually got two packs of these. There are quite a few pages. These, these I, I just absolutely adore. Then we have like three mini sheets. They'll do zoom and then these are kind of cute we have some like decorative boxes days of the week which i don't even know if i'm going to use but they are cute these i kind of like they're like little half circles here's some like washi tape or washi stickers if you know you know decorative boxes the way to my heart some more boxes these are kind of like glittery ones they're not actually glittery. They just give off the impression that they're glittery. And they're, these you could actually write on. Um, these might be kind of cute as like headings maybe. And then these, I really like these little like functional stickers. I like think they're so adorable. I don't usually use them in my planner, but I think today is going to be the day. And then we've got these little work laptops and these days off. So let's get started just seeing what it would look like if we did like these up top here and then maybe put the number next to it. I never change the headings so this is kind of exciting. Um, I'm going to use my Bic Whiteout Easy Correct. I'm going to white out the date and the name, uh, the number and the day. Okay, so then we're going to do Monday. And it's the 24th this Monday, so I'll put the 24th right there. I think that's really cute. So we're going to do that. Tuesday the 25th. I'm going to use my tweezers to kind of get these little guys up and put them down on the actual days of the week so it's a little bit easier. 27th is Thursday. I could have also written it in on the things, but I think it's kind of cute to do it this way, so... So let's go ahead and talk about some breast cancer myths while I'm doing this. Um, we'll go through five myths from Mission Regional Medical Center. And so while I'm laying these down, we'll just kind of go through our first myth is women without a family history of breast cancer are not at risk. The truth is the majority of women diagnosed with breast cancer have no close relatives with this disease. Regardless of family history, discuss mam uh, mammogram guidelines and schedule regular screenings with your health provider. The biggest risk factors for breast cancer are being a woman and growing older. Wait out the rest of these numbers and days. I will leave that website linked below so you can check it out for yourself. Um, but just really taking care of yourself is the main goal. Cute. Cute little start to the week. I don't love that it's got this down here. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe I put washi strips down. The center. And then I can always repunch. Um, and I actually think that I'm going to do 
a different one on this side. So I'm going to do this stripey one on this side. And I'm going to grab my scissors. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it like this so that it's kind of taped down for now. And then I think on this side, I'm going to do... See, I really wanted these to be this way. So that's what we're going to do. And I do realize that there's some stars down here at the bottom. That's not going to bother me as much as like this very prevalent dark teal is. I'm going to take my Fiskars um, and I'm just going to go ahead and end this off and do the other side. I think we're going to do up here, maybe. What do you think? These polka dots. gonna look a little bit silly because they're not completely uniform but that's okay that's okay with me because I really like the way this kit um, comes there's tons and tons of things for you to do and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this but we're mentioning it again um, I like to do my catch-all for you know my classic catch-all and my uh, memory planner with the same um, stickers and the same theme and so what's actually going to happen is that I would have plenty of leftover from this kit and also probably some from the other kit um, to do my uh, memory planner which is really exciting. I'm actually going to take this washi and I'm going to put it along here And then I just need my Fiskars. Okay. I'm wondering if I should do down here too. Yeah. We'll do this one as well. The reason I like to do one over here is I like to cover up that little uh, thing that's on the side. Cute, cute, cute. We're going to take five of these for our myths. And while we do that, let's go on to our second myth. I'm actually going to cut off these little stars up top. All right, so our second myth is breast cancer has become an epidemic in young women. You're probably wondering why this is false, but although all women are at risk for breast cancer, 95% of breast cancer cases occur in women ages 40 and over, and more than three quarters occur among women over 50. Put this one down here. This one over this way. So our third myth is that underarm antiperspirants and underwire bras can cause breast cancer. There is no evidence or studies which indicate that using antiperspirants or wearing any type of bra increases the risk of much less causes breast cancer. We have so much to work with and I'm getting a little flustered because I really do like to keep my um, stuff functional. So let's see what we can do without being too outrageous. Let's go ahead and do, we wear pink in October down here. This here, I'm gonna put one here. It says hope. Let's do this one. Nope. These bigger boxes down, I like to do one for each day. I'll we'll put this one like here. One here. Then we'll do these lighter pinks. We'll put one up, oh, nope. Here. One 
here. Okay, so that's got those three days. These three days, and then I just need one here. We have these like half decorative boxes. What do you guys think? Really kind of want to put it up here like this. So I've got boxes on every day. I've got decorative stickers everywhere. Looks like these are the ones that I have left. I do have a bill due on the 26th. Bill due up here. Okay, before we go in with these, I'm going to do my lines on each day. So that means I need to peel this up. Now let's grab the check it off. Um, from Happy Planner, check it off stencil. And I'm actually gonna use my Muji .38 pen. I know that I've said recently that the Sharpie S Gel .38 pen is my favorite, and it is. But this one just gives, it's got a longer tip, so it's just a little bit easier to do the lines. So let's go ahead and do those, and let's get on with our next myth. Okay, so number Three is only women get breast cancer. Um, breast cancer does occur primarily in women, but occasionally in men. Many people do not realize that men have breast tissue and that it's possible for them to then get breast cancer. I did 12 on Monday. I usually only do 10, but some reason I'm thinking that the 24th is going to be a big day. I'm going to have a lot going on. Um, so let's see. I've got one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I don't honestly mind if they're like, you know, not all together like this, if they're kind of willy nilly, it's kind of fine with me. It's just, it just means that um, as long as I have the lines to put things down on, I don't really care where they are. Um, so I'm gonna use this as a line. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, we'll just do 11 on this one. We're all set up for our lines for Thursday and our next myth is having silicone breast implants increases your chances for breast cancer. Silicone breast implants can cause formation of scar tissue in the breast, but several uh, studies have found that they do not increase breast cancer risk. Okay, so that I have some lines up here and some lines down here. I don't truly mind. Again, like I said, just as long as there's space for me to write my daily things. And I also don't line this up exactly the way that it wants me to. I line it up within the lines of the vertical, but I don't line it up exactly how it wants me to because I like to um, start my lines up a little bit higher and um, have eight spaces instead of seven, so. Saturday and Sunday are going to be a little bit tough because it looks like I did not leave a lot of space for myself to do the line. Okay, and then let's go to the last myth that an injury to the breast can cause breast cancer. I actually never heard this myth. The actual truth is that an injury or trauma to the breast does not cause breast cancer. Um, but one reason for this myth is an injury might draw attention to a breast lump that had actually been present for some time, um, but it's not the actual injury that caused the breast cancer. I'm actually gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut, if you can see, and you can see last week's spread, um, but you can see that it's actually over quite a substantial bit. So I'm actually gonna do a quick cut. I would love to do this with my Fiskars um, cutter, but I 
did not bring that with me. So, okay, so that one, and I still need to take my punch and punch here, and I might actually use my crocodile punch for that. I haven't really decided yet. Oh, wow. Might not even have to use a punch. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is every October. People do awareness um, in sports and they do awareness in uh, things like this, you know, YouTube channels and um, people really try to um, raise awareness. All right, you guys. So I'm back and I did, oh, I'm gonna be finding these little scraps of that washi sticker forever. This was a terrible idea. If you ever hear me saying that I want to do it again, scream through the video so I don't do it, okay? I just, I can't. Um, so here is the spread as it is for now. I do, like I said, really like these, like little guys that I don't ever really use. So I think we're going to use them today or this week. So we'll put one there because I usually do a lot of computer work and stuff on Saturday. Um, all right. One of my best friends has a birthday on the 26th. So, and then my father-in-law is on the 30th and my uncle's on the 25th. As you can see, there's only like two like birthday-y kind of things. So I guess we're going to do a birthday thing on this day. And then we'll do these on... Sunday's going to be a hard one over here for my uncle. And then, is it bothering anybody that this is stripes and this is dots? Because, like, at first I was going to say, oh, it's actually kind of cute. And then I was like, actually, it's kind of bothering me. So I haven't decided yet. Coffee Monday, if you know, you know. Definitely Coffee Monday. Um, I like this Treat Yourself. I usually do that on Saturdays. So maybe we'll put that like right here so I can put in this little space how I'm treating myself. Ironically, my bill due this day is my car payment. So maybe we'll just kind of put that right there. There are a ton of coffee ones and I just love them. I'm going to put some more coffee ones over. I'm just gonna put a coffee thing down here. I'm gonna put a coffee one over here let's see what else do we have we've got work i work every day that's not exciting um more coffee sleep in water plants washi wednesday happy mail these are grocery kind of like this I'm gonna put this over here it's like um like the scentsy candle warmers i'm kind of gonna leave everything else as is I might add some more as the week goes on like maybe um, if nothing's really happening on Tuesday I'll put a little work one down here or something um, actually we can do that now oh that's fun where are those boxes okay so we're actually gonna pick this one up if it'll let me yep I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna have an extra box on Tuesday. That's fine. I'll do work here. Cause I actually do have a work Zoom at night and I could have used a Zoom one, but it's fine. Um, I can write that there. I think that that is a very full spread. I'm quite pleased with it. All right, you guys, that was really fun, very informative, and I really enjoy that spread. I'm very excited to use it. I hope that you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, make sure that you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get alerted every time I upload new content. Please leave me a comment down below. Interact with me. I'd love to know what you thought of this spread, what you think of DEK design stickers. If you guys have the key to a really cool sticker person, leave their link down below. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a thrilling Thursday. Toodles.